September 8th, 2022. It's a beautiful Thursday. We're out here looking at the 36. Uh, so it won't start at all right now. And uh, I checked the fuel pressure. The fuel pressure was uh, 60 PSI. Then I uh, used my spark tester and I had spark at the coil. But it doesn't seem to be going out. And uh, I found a bunch of water on top of the distributor. And then I took it out. I also found water inside the screw holes on the rotor. So water definitely got into the distributor. And this seems to be the problem, I think, up here in, in the hinge in the hood. But this is the uh, drain for the cow vent. And it drops right down on top of the distributor. I had this problem on the uh, winter rat rod and I ran a hose to the side, but this one isn't a hose. It's just going to have to put some kind of plate in there to take the water down, to funnel the water down past the distributor, and then maybe hang something uh, over the top of the distributor to uh, block any future water falling on it. It's like every time we get a heavy rain, I had a problem. It would miss and sputter, and then it would clear up as I got down the road. It, it was acting like it was a wet cap, and that's damn sure what it was. But now it totally... We had that heavy rain. I guess we had almost an inch, and it got dosed. That was pretty good. So, uh, as I said, the weather's been great. It's been in the 70s, low humidity. Got a nice, cool breeze coming out of the... Uh, Northwest coming right in my door, which is kind of helping to uh, take these stinky paint fumes out. So I took the front tires off and I let the cab down so I can work on the roof of it. Started applying the uh, primer. The old $35 spray gun is still going. So I've uh, just doing the roof down to the bottom where this is all going to be gray and then below will be uh, white. I uh, got some spot putty and I'm going to go over with the spot putty and hit a lot of these little areas where it's just little, it was like rust spots and stuff. I mean it's, it's not new metal so was out in the junkyard for 20 some years collecting rust so it's going to take a little work to get all this uh, to look semi decent I don't expect it to be perfect but I'll get it uh, you know where I, I'm not embarrassed to take it out in public some little ripples right in here and some spuckers you know but I like to get it it's so much easier to see stuff when it's all one color. When you got, you know, 14 different colors going on because you sanded back the two different paint jobs and things like that. It's really hard to uh, pick out all these little imperfections. Spot putty, I'll probably have to get another tube. So I had a visit today. A guy comes walking up my driveway. Says, hey. I got something for you, and I'm looking, and I see, it's like, hey, I know this guy somewhere, and uh, I look, and he's giving me uh, earplugs, a whole bag of earplugs, and Joe Pacheco, he said, uh, I shouldn't have to use this anymore, <laughs> same material, and it works, and I had it around. So what if I'm Mr. El Cheapo? Alright guys, uh, things are going pretty good. Had to blow all the crap out of my fan. It was starting to sound like Chad's fan. I got it all cleaned out again. Talk to you later.